Hello, Nick McNulty here with another film, um, this time about vibrato. Vibrato is something you can add to your guitar playing, uh, particularly in lead sound, which will add some colour and real expression to your lead breaks. If I play a note on its own and just let it ring, it'll sound a bit like this. <laughs> it will kind of die pretty quickly, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. But if you want to extend the sustain of the note, rinsing every single little bit of um, sound out of it, then if you take your finger, and it can be the first, the second, or the third finger you use, take your finger and play the string, and then you can wobble it up and down, and that will really Keep the note ringing for as long as possible um, to get the best possible um, length of note that you want to achieve. It's a wonderful technique and there are a number of vibratos that you can use because it's not something that is easy to teach to a student or tutor a student in. You have to find your own vibrato which really really suits you. And if you look at guitarists like Mark Knopfler, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, Pete Townsend, they all have their own individual techniques which make them sound like the guitar players that they are. Here's a few that you may find of interest that will help you. And remember, with all of these, you should try and do them with the first, the second and the third fingers, depending on where you're going to be playing um, these particular notes, particularly with elongated ones. Now here's a little blues lick. <laughs> on that one, but I'm going to add vibrato to the last note. And it really will keep going. Now I used my third finger there to take the note up and then pull it down again. So I took it from the level string higher and lower to create that effect. Now that's one particular technique. The second one is taking um, a string here, just taking it level and up and back level. That's kind of extreme. It takes the note out of tune which is, um, in this particular case, hopefully a preferable thing. A way of keeping the note in tune, but actually um, undulating as well, is to, believe it or not, um, do a vibrato taking the finger back from the fret and back to the fret again. And it's still ringing. Now, all of those can be done at different speeds. Um, if I take the one where I was uh, taking the note higher and then back level, slow and fast. So it gives you a different type of expression to any particular note longer than just a passing note. Now in that little passage there, in fact I lifted the note up half a tone and even though I'm um, bending the note upwards, I vib um, did a vibrato on the higher note. I was able to bring it back down again and vibrato it on the lower one. And it's still going. So it's a great way to get expression. The last way I want to show you is a different, entirely different type of vibrato using this piece of equipment that is usually found on a Stratocaster, a tremolo arm or, or a whammy bar. This, um, with the vibrato that we've just done, you can increase the pitch of the note and bring it back to its original pitch. With a tremolo arm or a whammy bar, you can take the note lower and bring it back to pitch or higher. 
so the vibrato that you will get will be very extreme. And that can be you know, a very, very useful thing uh, depending on the type of solo that you're playing or depending on how you want to use it. You can use the vibrato in really, really interesting ways. It's a very, very expressive piece of equipment, a tremolo arm, and there are numerous ways to use it. I think uh, the best way to use it, if possible, is to play the tre uh, use the tremolo arm almost before you hit the note, so it's already vibrating or doing a, vibra vibra uh, a vibrato sound as you play it. have the added advantage of being able to play a vibrato on whole chords. Just something for you to consider when you're putting together a lead break uh, of some sort. Use vibrato for that wonderful expression that you yourself might want to put into a solo just to make it that much more colourful in its sound. Have a look at my website, Nick McNulty, sorry, that's me, um, the website www.nickmcnulty.co.uk and I'll see you on the next video.